Che dolce vita! Prosciutto e vino! Cheese! <ride> Hi and welcome to Vincenzo's Place! Today we are in this beautiful family home. Today I want to show you how to make the best antipasto platter you ever had in your life. Do you like antipasto platter? Yes, yeah, 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 very much. Yeah. Today, thanks to Basile Imports, we're going to make something special. Basile Imports brings the most delicious Italian products into Australia. So today I want to make you, uh, for you a nice antipasto platter. And what we're going to have on the platter? We're going to have some uh, pecorino truffle on bruschetta. So ah, bruschetta and okay. pecorino truffle. We're going to have some radicchio and asiago wrapped in prosciutto. Have you, done that? Have you tried that before? Yeah, no, 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 and no. last but not least, we are going to have, guess what? Prosciutto. <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> and we are going to have parmesan baskets with some fennel and figs inside. Oh, wow. Oh, that amazing. Drizzled yeah. with honey. Yeah. Hey! <laughs> Let's get the party started. So open a fantastic bottle of Prosecco to get your guests excited and yes, more happy. Mm. The Prosecco brings love. Salute, cheese! Have you ever heard of a basket made out of cheese? Italian cheese? Yes, well, you heard that right. Oh, heaven. So there is a trick to cut the Parmigiano. You can cut the Parmigiano into uh, diagonals. So let's make it the easy way. What we want to do now, you want to bake this on baking paper and in the oven for about five, five minutes at 160 degrees. When you take the parmesan out of the oven, you want to put them straight on a glass. You wait a little bit for them to dry. When it's dry, you're ready to serve it. Parmesan baskets, parmigiano reggiano baskets. And then we're going to fill them up with some fennel and uh, dry figs and then we're gonna season them with honey and balsamic glaze to die for guys you serve this yeah you will have christmas in your mouth and if you cook them a little bit longer you have some crackers mm. oh mm. Just god that is beautiful now the thing is with prosciutto, why, there are so many prosciuttos available out there, but why this prosciutto is so special? I'll tell you why. I grew up with my father making, um, my family makes prosciutto, you know, we are very proud of the prosciutto. And when I came to Australia, I found it very difficult to find a good prosciutto. It is difficult, you know, mm. but when I tried this one, it took me back home. The flavors took, him, took me back home. So, mm. are you ready to taste it? Yes, yes. <laughs> So it's time to serve this wonderful prosciutto to these wonderful people. Oh, and the queen of the house has to have the, the first house. slice, oh a big God. slice. Oh, oh, oh wow. and Rosie, I mean. Mm. Oh my goodness, that's beautiful. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> nice and tasty. Oh. Oh. Mm. Mm. Ah, so, yeah. That is prosciutto. And now it's time to open the auricchio pecorino with truffle and make some bruschette out of it. Ah, oh, let's go for it. So I'm going to show you how to cut the pecorino. So let's get this beautiful piece. And you want to cut the edges. So first top part and cut another little piece there. Then we want to cut a little bit more there and then a little bit more there. The reason why I did this is because you want to break the pecorino in half. And this is what you get. Look at that. Beautiful piece of pecorino cheese, nice and moist. So now you want to cut one part in half. Make sure you use a nice sharp knife. You want to cut this part in half. Then you want to cut more in half. And then you can cut slices, just like this. So that when you serve the cheese, it's all even. So all those pieces are nice and the same. Mmm, always have a slice. Mm. We have to make bruschette, so we need to cut them nice and square. And you want to cut the pecorino, just like that. Tac. And then we put it in the oven for about five minutes until it melts. Stunning bruschette are now ready to be enjoyed. I'm going to eat all of them. Now we have some Asiago. It's nice and soft cheese. I'm going to cut them into a rectangular. So you do that. 
So I'm gonna make a strip of Asiago, one. Then I'm gonna make two. Shh, don't tell anyone. Mm. 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 It's um, um, Asiago cheese rolled in radicchio and prosciutto, the fresh prosciutto that we cut by hand. And then we wanna put it in the oven for about five to 10 minutes. You want to see when the cheese melt and at about 160 degrees. This is to die for and your guests will love it. Let's go and serve it to these amazing people. I am with Angelo, you. are we gonna feed these girls? Yes, let's feed They've them. They've been drinking and eating. Yes, they want more food. So now, hey, now, girls, now, come hey. on. Hey. Isn't Arancini, this prosciutto e parmigiano? Come si chiama? Basket. Basket. Isn't parmigiano this the basket. best antipasto platter you ever have Absolutely. seen in your life? Beautiful. So let's get into Beautiful. it and let's eat. Thank you. Let's have it. Let's have it. Oh my mm. God, look at this. This is beautiful. This is heaven. Mm. 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 I love that food. Mm. <laughs> mm. Amazing. Oh, my God. Mm. Oh, they're good. Mm. That is good. Mm. 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 So, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode. Make sure you write a comment below oh. for Angelo and the familia. E ora si mangia. Vincenzo Pere. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.